Hey guys, it's uh, The Wanderer, and this is going to be a very, very weird start to a video because unlike where I take you to the destination, I'm actually already here. Waitrose is um, is just over there. I don't know if you can see it through the, through the soaked windscreen. There's a reason for that, guys, and I'm going to spoil it right now because if you don't want to sit through the whole thing, you don't have to. That's no problem. I came here to review um, a breakfast from Waitrose. I was then told they don't do full Englishes yesterday by uh, someone I know at work. You'll hear all about that. And I finally get here. I'm starving hungry and the cafe is closed. So if you want to stick around and watch the rest of what I went through, that's that's no problem. You can do. You're more than welcome. Uh, so I'm going to roll the intro now. And if you don't, I'll see you all next time. Just uh, don't forget to subscribe for the next one, which will probably be Tesco. I'm The Wanderer, guys, and uh, let's begin. Good afternoon, everyone. It's The Wanderer. And once again, I'm back to review another full English breakfast or am I? Uh, so yesterday I was uh, at work and I was uh, telling a few people about what I do, a few customers, a few people who I talk to very close to uh, about what I'm doing at the moment with YouTube and I'm doing a series on full English breakfasts as you may be aware. Of course I've done two episodes already, we've done Morrison's, we've done Asda and as I said at the end of the last episode I am now today on my way to Waitrose. The person I was speaking to however told me I don't think Waitrose do a full English breakfast. Um, and that has just thrown a spanner in the works. So unlike normal people, where they would phone up the Waitrose and say, do you do? I'm just gonna go there anyway. And if they don't, then I'll go get something else and I'll review that for you instead. See, we, we work on the fly on this channel. So at the moment, this is the third episode of the Battle of the Supermarket Full English Breakfast, but it could be episode 2.5. <laughs> we'll see when we get there. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you do like this kind of content where I'm going around reviewing food places, locations, don't forget, of course, to drop a like on the video and hit subscribe to be notified about future videos. It does mean the world if you do. A like pushes it out there like you wouldn't believe. With that being said, guys, I'm The Wanderer. Let's make a move. very very least I'm hoping if Waitrose do an egg or at least something um, I hope it's gonna be better than the last egg that I had and if you haven't seen it guys in the Asda review honestly I'm gonna say it right now uh, even if you've not seen the review I'm gonna say it if I put a squeaker in the yolk I could have given that to my dog as a toy um, let's not have another egg like that again please at a part of the store where it's quieter. I came here, obviously, first destination was the cafe to try their breakfasts. And um, 
I knew today was an off day. They have a sign now at the front saying that their cafe is closed until the 2nd of March, which means any food from Waitrose is gonna have to be put on hold and all I can do is apologize. I'm really hungry though, so I might just have to go have another Morrison's breakfast. <laughs> Only me, oh, blooming hell.